Right guys, we're down at the golf show here in Orlando and well, I've got a very, very, very special guest uh, for this video. Now, if you've been staying tuned to the channel, you'll know I'm on this quest for a 350 yard drive and who better to try and give me some advice and to give you guys some advice on hitting the ball a long, long way than James said last week. Jamie, thank All you right. so, so hey, much for joining us. Pleasure. So long drive champ, yep. what was the record that we had? Well, what was the distance that you won it with? Uh, 418 yards in 2008. Into wind. In a little wind, yeah. Into wind, which yeah, is not bad, not, not bad. bad. You don't see that every morning in your Sunday medal at your club, generally speaking. Now, what I wanted to ask Jamie, what I wanted to try and get out of you today is just some tips on actually how to propel the ball a decent okay. distance. And you're I mean, looking for 350. 350. Okay. 350. Now, right. I've got my club head speed when I get going over 120. Okay. Which some kind of manufacturers that I've visited and shown, so I can probably get it there just about if I get my actual launch yeah. conditions yeah. right. But generally, what should I be looking to try and do in my swing? Yeah, I, the number one key in, in order to create speed is you have to create width in your golf swing. Mm -hmm. And what I tell everybody is, it's very simple, how you create width in your golf swing, obviously decent setup, nice mm -hmm. wide base, so stabilizer bars of the golf swing. And from there, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this club away from us as far as we can. Okay? So just pushing your hands so in the club. pushing the hands in the club away from us. And what we're going to try to do is get as wide as we can at the top. So set that golf club. And as we gradually go up, that club sets. So now straight left arm, fairly straight left arm. Now we have good width away from our body. From awesome. that position there, now we're set. What starts the downswing is just a quick bump with the hips. And then we're going to work this right elbow down to the right hip. And okay. what that's going to allow you to do is create and store leg from the inside. So now you can hit the inside of the golf ball. So we go wide, narrow, and then once we start that downswing and we hold that leg to last second, last second, we release it. Now we're going to look to get wide. Most amateurs have a tendency to take that club narrow and then, and then they get wide and then they get back narrow. We're tracked in. We're, we're yep. doing the complete opposite. We're going to get wide. We're going to get narrow with good leg in that shaft. From there, we're going to store that angle till last second, release it. And then we're going to get back wide and obviously always finish in good balance. Yeah. Belt towards the target. Absolutely perfect. So we do, absolutely. So guys, let's, yeah, just kind of whack a, tell you what, we'll whack a couple away. But this is perfect. So storing up massive amounts of energy with the wide backswing. So nice and wide, get narrow, and then back wide. Lag down and smash through. Should look similar to that. Now, right, it's just coming down. Now. I'll try and put a timer up on that screen. That must have been eight, nine Probably seconds. Seven, eight seconds, yeah. Okay, let's just have one more. All right. And just check out the actual width at the top of this swing. A lot of wrist hinge at the top as well. A lot of wrist So you're able to yeah. store it up so, a bit better on the yeah. way down as well. Yeah, you you, if you slow it down, you'll be able to see that club. At impact, as it starts winding down, my hands are over the ball and the club is still in the upright position. Fantastic. Maybe not 90 degree of angle, but there's a lot of angle stored. Okay. All right, so one more. One more. Nice and wide. And that one is still you know, just about coming down now and landing And that's now. kind of the key to hit a little bit further. Jamie, thank you so, so thank much. That was fantastic. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Give the video a thumbs up, share it around, and please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, I don't think I'm going to find anyone at the show that's going to hit it further than Jamie, but certainly lots more videos to come. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. And we'll catch you next time.